Hello and welcome to the Waste of Web Space Review of the Year. In this we're going to be reviewing the year 2012 and uh, in part one we're going to be looking at the months of January and February. So this is the Waste of Web Space Review of the Year featuring Jimbo and Fisher. Fisher. Um, we're in a supermarket today, I'm not sure why, we just decided we'd go in a supermarket. I've been walking around looking at small vegetables and, well, basically the bargain buckets really. Absolutely. Uh, there's a lot to be had in the supermarkets, um, although to be honest I don't really go in these large supermarkets very often, I prefer to go in these smaller places where uh, they're a bit, um, a bit more local to the community and do a bit more for, for local businesses. Really? Where do you shop? Uh, normally Tesco Extra. Right, okay. Well, I mean, I've been, while I've been here, I've been going up and down the aisles, obviously. I started off um, in, on the Indian aisle, and I uh, got myself curry from there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I went to the Mexican aisle, got myself some, uh, some, some chicken enchiladas, there you go. And then I went to the British Isles, uh, got myself some uh, good British beef there and things like that. And then I needed to get something, I need to get something actually now from the... Uh, from the Irish Isle, but they don't want anything to do with the British Isle, other than the supermarket. Yeah, it's one of those things. Uh, I, I got some uh, beef sirloin on the British Isle as well, they're quite high up, so mm. certainly raises takes on that one. Um, but it's, uh, it, it is very nice in the supermarket. Uh, there's a Cuban Isle as well. I saw, uh, saw Che Guevara and Fidel Castro try and go around the Cuban Isle, but they kept walking past it all the time. Just another Cuban missile crisis, though. But it's just one of those things. And, Did you uh, see what had gone off in the home DIY Isle? Oh yeah the, yeah, the motoring section of that uh, wasn't nice, was it? No, I think it was Castrol oil, weren't it? It spilled everywhere. I think so, yeah, Castrol GTX all over the floor. Um, BP are onto it though, I think, by the sounds of it, and they said that hopefully they'll be able to clean it up sort of within the next um, five or six years, something like that. Speaking of things that needed clearing up, um, back in, I think it was January last year, there was obviously the Costa Concordia. Yes, well, uh, very sad, uh, ran aground uh, just off the coast of Italy, I think. Um, and the captain, poor poor thing, what a poor thing the captain. Um, he was trying to help everyone off the ship like you should do as a captain, be the last man off the ship and go down with the ship, when unfortunately he fell into a lifeboat, didn't he? he fell into it? Yeah. So he wasn't pushed? Well, I don't know, did he jump or was he pushed? It's hard to tell. Um, but imagine that. You just want to help people out and you accidentally fall into the only thing that saves your life. When it crashed in the first, I mean, how did it crash? Well, I don't, I don't know, I think it was, it was in a race with another boat and then that bloke who interrupted the university boat race, he swerved to avoid him and as a result ran aground on the rocks. Um, but it was unfortunate that wasn't it, I mean. Yeah, speaking of offshore disasters, obviously there was uh, Harry Redknapp's famous tax evasion case. Case? A, a tax evasion case, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was acquitted of all charges I think you'll find. I know it was, yeah. yeah. Well, um, I don't know, but I don't know if his dog got away with it. Well, I don't know. I think he was the main perpetrator by the sounds of it. Yeah. He, uh, his dog had apparently deposited quite a lot of uh, money in the bank <laughs> before he started thinking about what he might have deposited in the bank. And um, I think, basically, Harry Redknapp allegedly stole all his dog's money. So he, I think his dog now lives at Batsy Dog Sound, doesn't he? I think he does. He's obviously got no money left. So yeah. um, I think... I think what, what's gone off though is he's actually got a better job now, I read Nap. He's actually gone and got himself another job. Oh, right, where's he working? He's at QPR. All oh, right. I mean, no one else wanted it, to be fair. No. Well, to be fair, it's the only club name that Harry Redknapp can spell, I think, isn't it? QPR. Well, yeah, it's only three letters. Exactly. Um, um, so is he, is he doing well financially out of this? How much is he getting paid? I think he's on about 2.5 million a year. What does that relate to after tax? 2.5 million. Oh, that's pretty good. I wonder how much to do that. Mm. Anyway, back to the supermarket. I've, while I was going around, I don't know if you know, if I spotted a few celebrities, in fact, I can still see a couple more wandering around now. Yeah, oh, hello, <laughs> George Michael's over there. Oh, no, oh, we just, just crashed his trolley. Um, not That's good. Not then Peter Andre's over there in the uh, CD section, he's, uh, he's buying his own album. Oh, well, I yeah. suppose at least someone's buying it, that's... Uh, yeah, at least he sold one copy. Yeah, that's, that's increasing the amount of albums sold by, uh, by Infinity, effectively, hasn't it? Well, so in good on him. I mean, One Direction as well. Um, they're over there, I think, on the, I think they're buying pancakes for the look of it. Little tossers. Oh, very good. Oh, Randolph Fiennes is over there. Sir Randolph Fiennes, yeah. The frozen section. Yeah, it'll be alright in that bit, he won't say. Oh, yes, yeah, fine, no, no problems. And who's, who's that? Is that a famous pop star over there? It is, it is. Is that Madonna? She got a child in a trolley. <laughs> Anyone would have thought she'd bought the child. Oh. Yeah, I think she's bought that. Yeah. And there's Philip Schofield as well. It looks like he's got his shopping list on him. Oh. What, is that a shop? I don't think that's a shopping list. No, that's not a shopping list. Probably ought to be careful with that. Unless he wants to buy Jimmy's saddle. Yeah. 
But uh, there's Anthony Warlock Thompson again. He looks, his, uh, looks like he might be up to his old tricks. Oh, no. Put it, put it back on the shelf, Anthony. I think, obviously, yeah. No. Carefully does it, Anthony. That's not very mature. Yeah, no, sorry. Cut. Obviously, uh, back in January, uh, he was caught stealing cheese from Tesco's. Exactly. Um, around the same time, well, Tesco's had quite a bad year, actually, this year, haven't they? If you've seen that, which is profit warning, so... It does make you wonder how much stuff he's actually stolen from. How much from cheese them. has he actually stolen? Yeah, was so. And to be fair, he's actually, he actually did pretty well to find the food in the supermarket, which is notoriously difficult nowadays. Mm. Because I think all Tesco seems to sell are um, television sets yeah. and uh, and clothes. DVD players. DVD, yeah. You, you, you name it, as long as it's not food, they'll probably sell it at your supermarket. But um, what I've decided to do for as a little special uh, little feature, we've... I'm going to play a game called um, What Has Anthony, Tom Anthony Royal Thompson Stolen? So, you're going to be a contestant on this. Anthony Royal Thompson has stolen this item. So I'm you, not you, allowed to look at you, it. Yeah, you're not allowed to look at it. So, I'm going to give Jimbo a few clues as to what it is. And uh, we're going to see if you can guess, guess where it is. Um, so, it is, it is white. Is it the guest list for John Terry's party? It isn't, no. It's... Um, it's full fat. Lisa Riley. When when it goes old, it turns into cheese. Bruce Forsyth jokes. No. Is it Bruce Forsyth? No. They often have silver tops. Bruce Forsyth? No, it's not. Will you stop going on about Bruce Forsyth? For God's sake. It's, it's milk, okay? Just stop going on about Bruce Forsyth, alright? Um, did you enjoy that little part of the show? I did actually. I liked it every week. Good game, good game. Yeah, good, good. I'm, enjoyed, uh, I'm glad you enjoy it. Um, perhaps next time we can do something that's going to be a bit, um, in terms of capturing the public imagination, a little bit, a little bit higher. We could do, yeah. I mean, I think it's time to uh, go anyway. It's not, it uh, looks like it's closing. I thought this was 24 hour supermarket. Not night. Oh, yeah, of course, obviously. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it for us. We're going to take this video through the, uh, the seven jokes or less queue. And uh, we're going to take the pound out of the camcorder so we can use it again in the future. And uh, hope you all have enjoyed this and you'll watch the next video, so uh, make sure you check it out. Go chicken enchilada? No, not really. I don't really like Italian. See ya. See ya.